Hello, thank you for joining me. We're still in Pryor Park in Bath. You may have seen my last video when we was at the top of the park and we looked down to the Palladium Bridge, down Capability Brown's landscape. Well, now we're down at the bottom and we're just going down a, a path through the bushes. But as we come to here, like we did at the top, the view reveals itself. There we are looking up. There's the Palladium Bridge and just up out the camera a bit is the house. So this was Ralph Allen's centerpiece of the garden. It was the one thing he really wanted to show off his Palladium Bridge. And there's only four of these in the world. One's at Stowe, which I've been to, Stowe Landscape Gardens. I've not actually done any Henry's Adventures videos there, but um, we did go there for Festival of the Unexceptional, a car festival, which is completely different, but it's held at Stowe. So if you like classic cars and these kind of landscape gardens, it's a perfect outing, but we, this isn't, we won't do any more about classic cars today. This is, so we're at Pryor Park. The other one's at Wilton House, and the other one is in St. Petersburg in Russia. So let's, um, I'm definitely do Stowe, probably do Wilton Park, and I'm sure at some point we'll do one from St. Petersburg, because I'd love to go to Russia. So that's the Palladium Bridge. We're on the top dam, so as I said about the Cascades, the water must be piped down. There was a few sort of streams in the woods, but there doesn't appear to be a cascade all the way down, but there was a, a lake beyond the Palladium Bridge. It's like a dam, so I suspect there'd have been a cascade there, another lake, and then this one. I can just hear water trickling. Must go down below here and into the River Avon. So what we'll do now, we're gonna go and walk round here to the Palladium Bridge itself. So down this narrow path, passing the lots of box hedging. Keep going, there's another view of the site. Looking up, you can see the house this time. One of the things about landscape gardens is the way they're designed is that you do kind of go down these sort of paths where it feels like you don't see anything, then suddenly a review, a view will reveal itself and things line up with certain things to frame things. I took a picture as I came down. The Palladium Bridge was framed perfectly in the trees. And we're just going along the banks of the bottom lake. See now, we can't see the Palladium Bridge as we walk ahead, but in a minute we'll go around the corner and um, it'll reveal itself. You can see where we were a minute ago, just over there. So we've walked around the bottom lake. So this is National Trust place on the edge of Bath. It's not far from the city centre, not far from the railway station, so it's really worth coming to. It's a lovely place. It's not a huge property, but got a lot of hills to walk up, but it's not a reason to not visit. So as we come along here past all these rose hips, I went for a walk once and I picked a load of these and I made some tea when I got home and it was really nice. And then that's a spindle tree, this one here. Spindles have quite unusual fruits, so you can't eat them, but they're quite um, a nice looking bright orange fruit to look at. Perhaps in the um, winter or the summer more, we'll do a video and we'll talk about plants and fruits, spindles with their fruits. But anyway, as we come along, there's the bridge there. And I've just seen a sign here, it says Ice House, so we might as well wander up this narrow path and see the ice house and then we might as we go up here I don't know where it's going to be but we might see some more we're getting now another view of the lake as we look down on it and just see out across the lake so as we carry on I'm not sure was this whether this was the site of the ice house, I don't know. There's, there clearly was some structure here. Maybe it was a grotto. Let's see what the, the board here tells us. Ice house and thatched cottage. So it looks like there possibly was an ice house here. I'm not, I'm not too sure actually. Um, just see what's up here without going to. Oh no, here we are. Here's the ice house. I found it. Or it looks like I've block, ooh, blocked it, but this probably was the entrance to the ice house. It's a shame they've blocked it, I'd like to have gone down there, but you can't really see. But there is 
the darkness where my hand is, that is going down into the ice house. I think then there was a rose cottage, which was like a folly. And if you look out there, you get another view of the lake. So what we'll do now is we'll follow back down this narrow path and we'll go on up to the Palladium Bridge. And at some point, though, I really must get to Stowe. I mean, I could probably make about 20 videos there. Well, that's probably a slight exaggeration. Maybe five or six videos just in the one property. There's so many follies and temples to see. It's an amazing place. But here's amazing as well. It's just not on, it's just not as huge. But that's what I like about National Trust places. Some are very small and you can visit in a short time, but your visit is still just as enjoyable. It just happens to last the shorter time. So we come to here, this is, this lake has been drained. I know it got silted up, so there would be water. See where that rope fence is? That would probably be, well, maybe a bit lower, perhaps the base of those fence posts would be the water level. So there'd have been cascade down to that lake. And then it looks like the Palladium Bridge itself would have had a waterfall coming off it. So we're gonna walk up now to the Palladium Bridge um, and see what we see. I expect it is part of the National Trust's long-term project to restore this and have the lake with water in again. You can see how the lake actually extended off round there. So there's the lower lake. The upper lake had a sort of enclave going that way. We'll definitely come here again in the summer, but it is nice to it's nice to visit National Trust properties in the winter, or all seasons, to see them in different seasons, because you get to see the variety. So it's quite a sight now, it really... The one at Stowe isn't on a waterfall, so as impressive as the one at Stowe is, this one feels more like it's really kind of looming at you, which the one at Stowe doesn't do so much. And then above is the house. So as we come up around here, when I've finished the video, I'll have to make my way back up, up that long flight of steps over there. But right now, we'll go over the bridge and see the views from the bridge and a view of the bridge from the other side of the lake. So come up here. Feels like we're coming to a temple, but an open temple on each side. looking that way the dried up lake but eventually that'll probably be restored so as we come through here leaving the Palladium Bridge behind me what I'm going to do I'm going to take you round to the end of the lake and we can have a look at a look at the um, bridge from from that way then I've got to make my way up there you can just see two people wandering across I think those steps take you up there and then you go up the valley so no doubt I'll get some pictures I won't do a video all the way up well, we'll get some more pictures looking down of this wonderful Palladium Bridge. So, from the Palladium Bridge at Prior Park, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.